Thanks to Talk STEM uh, for inviting me to do this mini video blog. I think the key questions were surrounding how do we engage primary and middle school children in maths and STEM in general, and uh, in particular around the computer-based maths methodology that uh, we're pioneering here. I think the crux of the issue is always how does real life relate to the maths? Can we start from real life and use maths as a great way to solve that. Rather than often what we do is the other way around, we start from the abstract maths and somehow hope that students and indeed teachers can see the connection between that and, uh, and life. So I think always try to start from the real situation the child's in, something that will engage the child at that age and let them see that actually if you use multiplication or if you use equations uh, a bit later on, to solve the problem, that that really helps you. It's much easier than talking in English, for example, uh, to just solve the problem and hope that you can get to an answer. It can really help them solve problems that seem to matter to them and their life at that point. And whether that's uh, finding the ideal password for their login, or what's a beautiful shape, or, uh, or how many uh, ways they can uh, distribute different things to their friends, any of those sorts of problems that seem like they'll be engaging to them, I think are a great way to start. And the thing is that what's often hardest and most important in real life for students is the setup of the problem. Setting the problem up in an abstract mathematical way that allows us this huge range of ways to solve it. So the setup of, in fact, harder problems than we're often asking our, our students to set up now allowing the computer then to solve those problems and then interpreting the result is really the process that we want to make sure our students can do effectively and what's exciting is that the in a sense more that we allow the computer to do in calculating the more complex messy and therefore real life the problems can be that we set up and once the problems become more real life that we set up, then the students start to realize that actually they could apply mathematics to real problems in their life. It isn't just some abstract theoretical concept. It's something that really is usable and useful to them individually and to society. And that's much more engaging for them. So I think the main thing is to come up with great problem sets that you can think through, use the best technology to turn those, compute with those, and get some answers. And I think that will help students uh, and teachers uh, as well a great deal to, to understand the application and interest in STEM. Now, I think another question that comes up is, you know, unfortunately all today we have to teach to traditional assessments like SATs, SATs, and so forth. Um, and uh, how do we combine this approach with what we unfortunately need to do for those exams and assessments which uh, tend to be very much focused on calculating by hand. Well, I don't have a complete answer except to say that I think the more you engage students and teachers in understanding the real application first, the easier the methodologies go later. So if you really understand why you're solving an equation, it helps you actually in then going through the rather tedious process of solving the equation that you might need to do for the for the examination. So I think that uh, it's it's it doesn't necessarily take quite as much time as you might think to do the enrichment first and to follow that with the methodologies second. And uh, I think uh, obviously at computer-based math we are trying to reform the subject and curriculum of mathematics around the world so that eventually. Uh, we don't have assessments that don't match up to what we really need in the real world. But meanwhile, I think there is plenty that can be done to engage and enrich students' life and see, make them see what a great subject mathematics is and, and how it can so well be applied to all STEM subjects. I think a great help of this is coding and how that's come to the fore in recent years. Um, coding, in a way, is the way you write down mathematics in the modern world, as well as how you get a computer to solve it. And so it's a great way to get students engaged in getting abstraction to really work for them, getting real results out of it, and seeing that application of mathematics. And, and we at Wolfram have been trying to 
help with this using the Wolfram language, which is now available uh, in the cloud, and also uh, with Wolfram Programming Lab, which is an attempt to help students get onto the Wolfram language, understand the connection between the coding and the mathematics. One of the great things I think we can help with is seeing that connection, not seeing these as two separate subjects that have to that, that should somehow coexist but aren't combined. So I hope that insight is uh, uh, useful to all of you, and um, I look forward to hearing the feedback.